Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to League Lads, the official, the number one. No, that's cap straight out. We can't, we can't, <laughs> we can't call number one yet. <laughs> Obviously, the first episode time. one. Episode <laughs> one of League Lads is this is a new show, strictly NRL, strictly rugby league. We're going to talk every single week, twenty minutes to half an hour. We're going to try be as short as we can um, about the NRL, what happened in the week before, our predictions for the week that's coming up, and. You know, whatever controversy that happens, we will we'll do uh, Buzz and K- uh, Kenty. We'll take their jobs for a bit yeah. and we'll talk the shit that we need to talk. Um, I'm here with a big, big footy head and he's probably going to be carrying me through this because <laughs> my NRO attention has weared off a little bit. I've been disinterested last year, but the Bulldogs are back, so I'm getting back into it. But none other than Hectic Fred. How are you, my brother? I'm doing well, bro. I'm a happy man. Second day in a row at the couch, bro. Yeah, I know, bro. F- it's yeah, my you know home what? away from home. Yalla, huh? I told you, this is this is the place, bro. Whenever you need to vent, you never need to talk something for you. Whenever you have a sports topic on your mind, bro, the door is there. It opens anytime you need. You walk in and you do your thing, bro. Unless it like, locks a little bit. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Mems yesterday. <laughs> it always locks. Um, But yeah, man, we're, we're going to just basically talk about the NRL. We've got a few subjects that we're going to talk about. And the first thing we're going to talk about is... Our team, we are big Bulldog supporters. We have been suffering for a, for a very, very long time right now. I don't know, what is it? Four years, five years since Hasbro? Seven, uh, seven years. Seven years since we last made the finals, bro. So we went to the grand... So when was the last grand final? We went to 2014. 14, yeah, okay, so. and that was against the Souths. Yeah. And I remember the Melbourne one because I went to it. I paid like $600 for the worst ticket ever. <laughs> I sat in like the <laughs> nosebleeds, bro. <laughs> but... um. But yeah, we've been depressed for a while, and now we get the chance to talk about the Bulldogs every single week, so I hope they do well. Um, first things first, Ben, we've signed a few players. You want to run us through that, Fred? Yeah, of course. Obviously, the, the, there are some massive changes from last year. Um, the boys went and splashed the cash again. Seems to be like a recurring theme, but Uncle hopefully, Gus. Th- hopefully, but this time Gus is spending the money, and uh, usually I trust him with all my heart. Well, bro, in Gus, we trust. Yes, I love that man <laughs> so much with all my heart, bro. He's gone and got us some massive names that don't need to be set up. Let's like we we've, to go. we've had players that have been bought that require our pl- our halves to set them up. Yeah. These guys, they just get the ball and, Winners d- and, as well, and man. do the job, man. Grand final winner, kick out. I think yeah. that's the one I'm most excited about. Um, who else did we bring in? We brought in Reed Marnie. Reed Ma- oh, yeah. How so can I, I liken this to, I like to, you know, say it. It's exactly like United signing Casemiro, us getting this player. Us getting Reed Marnie. We've needed a nine for like since 2016. Yeah. Since Michael Innes left, we've never been able to replace yeah, we him. We said that Leisha was going to get sit there and take the. Take all the <laughs> reputation and go go hard with it. We thought we, we thought we had one, bro. Yeah, we we let Cookie go. We let Cook go, and people were trying to t- tell me that um, we let Marshall King go. Like it's gonna be a big loss. It is not a big loss. Uh, they, I don't think it's a big loss. Like I, look, he did well last year, but he's not the type of hooker this team needs. We need like a, just a general, a guy that's gonna play hard every week. And this is like he's given he's been given the captaincy as well. Yeah. He's on-field captain, and that's just giving him the sort of... We like, trust you. Yeah. Go ahead, you know. Take the, trust, take, take, take the nine, run, take, put it on your back, and just go ahead with it. Exactly. Um, who's our captain? So we've got Fatala Mariner, who so, is the... So there's like five captains. But like <laughs> so we, went, on, but we two, went all West Tigers on. on yeah, <laughs> but there's two on-field captains. I feel like the West Tigers had five on-field nah, captains. Nah, the West Tigers just did it wrong, bro. Yeah, we've got... So Burden and Marnie are our captains okay. on the field, and then they have different captaincies for like... Like around the part, like around the, the changing community. room. Yeah, someone with a bigger voice, I think, and that's for Tyler Marina and um, Adokar, and, Adokar. That, and then I think someone else as well. I can't remember off the top of my head, but like they're two. Like Adokar is really the heart and soul, and he's like the captain for this team, bro. Yeah, uh, you on can the feel field, it. on the field, bro. He's all the way on one side, so it's hard for his message to come across. You usually want someone that can reach everyone with their voice. Of you know course. what I mean? Like, you know what I was saying with Adokar last year, but he was everywhere. And yeah. he's like talking and he's like telling Flanagan what to do, Burden, he's giving them some advice. So I think what you're saying is 100% correct. He's going to be a leader anyway, regardless if you give him the, the captaincy or you don't give him the captaincy. He's the type of player that will go in there, bro. And like he does for the Blues, like he does for Australia, like he did for Melbourne, hard on his sleeve, bro, and just passionate for everything. I love that, man. And I, I'm very excited to see Red Money because I feel like we've lacked the nine with IQ. 
Yeah. Someone that on third tackle, when we're stuck in our 20, just kick the ball down and then just just flip the flip the momentum, you know? Let them be on the on the defensive end that we've been suffering the whole game or whatever it is. So I think Red Money is a beautiful signing, bro. I'm so excited, but he don't understand for yeah. for Reedy. It's just good service at a dummy half that we've really lacked. Like our forward pack has always been getting pumped because the we, our hookers just can't pass the ball very yeah, well. Yeah, I remember Marshall King always tried to do those. Look, for me, Marshall King was he wasn't he improved last year. But like you said, it's not it's not the hooker we needed, man. I think in a team like Penrith, when there's you know a lot of players that are really smart around there that can just do that, I think he would have been good there. I think he's going to be good for the Dolphins, to be honest with you, under Bennett. But for us, man, nah, we 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 needed experience, we need IQ, and we need we need that leadership on the field, man. I agree. Kikau, what do we think of Viliami Kikau? So the problem I had, bro, was last year, Burden had no one on that side, bro. <laughs> Literally no one. So, like, he'd pass the ball to someone that is usually not, like, you, you want the ball out of Burden's hands. Yeah. And then they're getting rewarded for it because they didn't really have anyone else around him. That's right. If the ball went to shop, he's not passing the ball to Adokar. car. He's not passing to anyone. He's just running. He never used to pass, eh? Hey? I remember the, yeah, the, no. Bulldogs criticis- the Bulldogs fans, like, a lot of them used to criticise him. Yeah. I used to rate him, but... Oh, I like Shaw, man. He's so good defensively, but he just wouldn't pass. And mm. I feel like that will probably change now. And But it's just, like, the game against Melbourne was just the, like, the way to defend Burden and and defend that dog's left side was just to send as many guys to Burden. Uh, yeah. They were sending three guys to Burden every time he went near the ball. A lot, a lot of teams did that to us last year because they just knew, man, like, Burden's going to either put a massive bomb in or... He's gonna try beat a player or two because he's a center as well. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's gonna so he's got that. Ball. Yeah, he's got that athleticism team where he can beat one or two, go in. But man, I think kick out, adding kick out there, and they've played with each other, bro. That's the most important thing I, I see. And the coach is their old assistant coach, which is our new coach Serralda. And having kick out there will be, bro. I, I just can't. I when he scored that try in the tr- in the trial. I was like, oh, well, and then he went off and I'm Yeah, then he went off. <laughs> but yeah, they just have to give him the ball, and you just can't like. It's not someone that. You have to set up, like I said. You just mm-hmm. give him the ball. And he'll just do the Half damage. The time, he'll just do it standing start, bro. Or a little jog start, and that's all he needs. He doesn't need to be put through a hole. That's just even. That just means that it's guaranteed to score if you do that. But you don't even, have to. Even for Penrith, bro, when they needed someone, he would just be like... I know they had a lot of good players, but he used to be like, give me the ball, and he used to just try and make yeah. a... You know, even a little offload to, to his wingers or whatever, and they would just... That changes the game, bro. He's like Thanos, bro. I'll do it, <laughs> my, just, I'll do it I'll myself. I'll do it myself. That's the same. <laughs> give him the ball. And then it just relieves a lot of pressure off of... um off of Burden. Burden, man. Even out of car, bro. Even the centers, it's, it's like... They don't have to do the running as much anymore. They just have to chase him and go... You know, if he's free, bang in, you, you know. Just support him, man. And, it, like, I just feel like that's just... That side is going to be very dangerous. But yeah. the one that, what I don't want is us to just be so predictable that we always yeah. go to that side. I don't, I don't like that either. And I don't think that will happen. Let's, I really, really let's don't. Let's see. Because I think both... I think they're balanced with Kiraz on the other side as well. I think that's like a more... You know, when we want to attack and go that side, we can go that side, which is amazing. But, All right. And now the Bulldogs are just announced today because we've got the team list, obviously. And Hayes Perum is going to be playing at fullback. Now, I didn't really watch the troll much. I just dabbed into it, really. I don't know, man. I don't know about him. I don't really, didn't really watch him. Was he was at Para before, right? Yeah, but he wasn't really, really getting game time before. Yeah. Okay. Well, what do you what do you think, man? Him at fullback? Do you think it will change? Do you think Avrilo will swap with him later? Look, I trust in a Seraldo to make the right decision. Yeah. Avrilo moving to fullback and Trent Barrett getting sacked was like the the <laughs> thing that the thing that started our turnaround last season, and. I think Avrilo will do good at centers. I just think they just need to put him somewhere and leave him. Because yeah. his whole career, he's just been moving around. I feel bad for him, man. Just let him play a position. Like, even now, like, if you're going to play him at center, like, commit to playing him at center. Keep him on one side. And we'll have just have to see how Perham does. If 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 they must be very impressed with Perham. Like, I haven't seen too much of him. Oh, that's what, that's if he has played, he's been on the wing. Like, he played all right in the Maori All-Star game, the indigenous Maori All-Star game. But I guess... That's a different ball game to NRL, for like no, you know, of course, regular way, season football. Way different. So, um, if they, um, they're obviously very impressed with him, so especially consistency, bro. So, I, I hope I, I don't know. Maybe it is a solution, but then we got Crichton coming in, so I don't know. But yeah. um, 
Man, I'm very, very excited. That's We're going to wrap up the Bulldogs talk. We don't want to get too, too delayed. Do you have anything else to add on for the no, Bulldogs? No, I'm all good. Excited for Seraldo, Kikau, Marnie. Excited for everyone. Excited man. for everyone. Just I can't wait to see around. the boys just rip it in, bro. And we're, you're going to be going to the games. Yeah. You're going to be doing a lot of content there. Um, everyone, please follow Fred. Listen, he doesn't need no introduction anymore. He's the main man of the footy side. Here. He's the footy guru. If you need footy therapy, speak to him. Stop messaging me, all right? No, <laughs> um, now, I want to get into the new team that's been added, which I think is the dumbest thing the NRL could do, adding another team and not adding two. Now, every week someone has to play, a, a play a, I think it's a buy for every team, yeah. which is just the silliest thing for me because su- I play super coach. So every week I have to worry about a player going out, yeah, it's bringing gonna be, one in. It's going to be annoying this year, bro. Yeah, I don't know, man. The Dolphins, they tried to sign some big name players. They've signed a lot of people. They remind me of Nottingham Forest. Obviously, they they had to. You know, they didn't really have a squad there that could compete. They've signed a lot of players. Is there anyone that is going to impress you or a hot take from, from the Dolphins? Yeah, um, Katoa, he's the new the new half. I want to say his first name, but I don't want to butcher it. I yeah. think it's... Like do you want to have Haya, a crack? Haya, pretty much. Isaiah, like, Isaiah. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. I will get. We'll, we'll wait till the commentators say it because yeah. they've been changing the way they say. <laughs> but things. I don't want to butcher it, bro, because <laughs> I know they get mad. Like they, they get. Nah, well, we don't but, mean that, bro. Yeah, obviously, but no, nah, no, nah, he's um he really impressed me, man. And even at Penrith, I was very surprised they let him go. But obviously, that's just them. Like letting go of Katoa and Burden is them basically saying they just have full trust in Luai. Of course, to lead and Burden them. and Cleary. Yeah, yeah. or oh, Cleary is always going to be there, as long yeah. as especially his, if his, his dad's, dad's there, you know. But he's the one to watch, and yeah, they're just like they're a s- okay team. Like, yeah, they could, like they've got no marquee man. They don't have a star player. There's Sean O'Sullivan as well, who came from Penrith as well. I really, I really wanted him at the Bulldogs, bro. I was yelling at it for him. I just think him and Burden would have worked so well, bro. Yeah, it's he's just a smart player, and you can never go wrong with having a smart player on your smart team. Smart and just nothing too fancy, you know? He's always calm, man. Yeah, does his job. There's no need for flick around the hand and yeah. trying to do silly things. Where That's why I think a seven is, bro. You need to trust a seven, and I think that's good. That's For me, in that team, he's going to be the most important player for me. Yeah, no Him and the Bromwich brothers. And him being with one of the smartest coaches ever is just going to be a match made in heaven. I think that... He, that He's going to get them... The fact that Bennett's running them, he's going to get them more wins than everybody thinks. Of course. And they're going to get wins that they don't deserve on paper. And that's why I have them pretty high up in my sort of ladder. Yeah, I think... Or we'll higher, get, a lot higher than people think. We'll get into that soon. Is there anyone Is there anyone you think they're missing? Like, is there... I don't think we can even judge yet because we haven't really watched them play. But I don't know, man. I feel like it's, they're gonna, I feel like they're going to be good this year. Like, good as in they're going to exceed our... our our expectations they are going to be like, oh my god, they actually did very well. And then I think as soon as Bennett leaves, it's going to yeah, be no, a downfall. <laughs> you can see it, yeah. Yeah, and I just feel like they signed a lot of players from Melbourne. And it's like Melbourne are just a different team. Like they, the, everybody in Melbourne knows their role, exceeds expectations on that team. And I just don't know whether signing all these players from Melbourne to play outside of Bennett's system is going to be uh, as uh, Bellamy's uh, system yeah yeah, yeah. is it going to be as you know, I don't know as good as they hope because we're just going to have to see I think the Bromwich brothers will be very good for them but just that leadership and someone to get you out of the mud when you need it I think that's going to be good he's got a lot of experience and Marshall man. King man what do you think of Marshall King there? he'll be per- he'll be the like because he's very similar to Cook like he doesn't have the best service but it's explosive man, likes to run out of dummy half he does get gassed a bit easy, so you sort of have to keep a be- uh, a hooker on the bench. But like Bennett's used to sort of coaching a player like him, yeah. so I think he will do pretty well. Uh, I'm uh, I'm excited to see how they go. I'm just burning that every week someone has to go for a bowler. Like, it's actually killing my nerves, but I, I don't know how to. They couldn't add two teams right at once. Uh, of I course, think. but I think I think they should have been ready for two teams at once and then just done it. You yeah. know what I mean? But even quality, like there's no one to sign. How are you gonna How are you gonna sign players for two teams? You know well, what I mean? Yeah, there's positions where there's an excess of players, and there's a position where like if we wanted to go buy a halfback now, who do you get? There's a the shortage in halfbacks, dude. That's the problem that the league's gonna have. How like, about fullbacks? Fullbacks, there's plenty of good fullbacks. You out there. I think there's plenty of good like wingers that could go. Play wingers, fullback. yeah. Like, so that's just but a seven. You have to be playing a seven your whole life. Like no one like. No one gets moved from like yeah. center to, f- to seven. <laughs> no, like what we did to Avril, yeah, that never happens. Just, like, but poor Avril, bro, got moved around half of the lineup. Pretty yeah, much. and a lot of people were putting the blame on him. Yeah, we'll like, let's just leave him there, man. All right, listen. Before we um, we we're gonna get into the because we finished the Dolphins talk, we're gonna get into the ladder prediction. I'm gonna let you do all of it, and I'm gonna try to agree and disagree with everything you say. Yeah. Um, who's gonna be the bottom eight? 
Let's so start off with the bottom mate. It's bottom nine now. Bottom. Oh, yeah. sorry. <laughs> no, even I forgot it yesterday. <laughs> so bottom nine. Here we I go. Have dragons as the spoon. Um, Seventeenth. Yeah. Colds. Uh, man, they just can't get anything right. Sorry, Ace. Um, I apologise, Ace. <laughs> go on, go on. Especially <laughs> in um, like in this off season, but dude, they have just suffered, man. It's just one bad thing after another, and Ben Hunt's getting up there in age. Like, I can't see the durability being there. Yeah, I think uh, he carried them so like, hard last yeah, year. Yeah, he carries them hard every year. Even with them, even with him carrying them, I just don't feel like, like they have, they don't have a good pack. They just got the hand-me-downs. They have no coach too, man. They got the hand-me-downs, and the coach is, he's going to get sacked round eight. The longer they sa- they wait to sack this bloke, the higher chance they have. Now a, everyone's saying, like, sack him, sack him. I, I was always, I would have never picked him. Yeah, the same as me. I, I just, just always Even thought, at the start of his thing, I was like, mm. I always just thought it was a placeholder for Shane Flanagan, who was the assistant, but yeah. who was eventually going to get it, but I guess I think not. I think Flanagan will, will go in after him, right after him. I yeah. think it's like round five. He's such a good... No, no, they if they don't win, If they don't win a game or two in them first five rounds... Because they got the bye round one. No. So they will look a little bit better on the so the, pre- the Dragons fans are going to be depressed. They might round two, lose- they're oh, going to have... Sorry, they might lose to the bye. <laughs> <laughs> the way they're going right now. <laughs> That's hard suffering, bro. <laughs> All right, let's go to 16th place. Second last. I have... I have... Look, this is... A lot of people were telling me this was way too low yesterday. I did a ladder prediction on, on my TikTok. So I have Newcastle because they have... If Dragons yeah. don't have the worst coach, they have the worst coach. What's his name? Uh, Adam O'Brien. O'Brien. He's terrible, man. And they, in my opinion, I feel like they lost the trade. They traded Clemmer away for um for Jackson Hastings, who's a player that missed half of the season last year due to injury. And he copped a bad injury too, Hastings. Yeah. And I liked like, him, I but I just don't think he's... The, like, like what you're saying, the, he, the I don't think he can last that long. And especially, bro, I never see Newcastle like... I just feel that they just have no quality in them, bro. No matter who they sign, no matter what they do, I just feel like they just enjoy the life there too much. It's a bit like Gold Coast Titans for me. For the, everyone goes, it's a bit quiet, it's a bit calm, you know, there's a mad party life there. No one really takes things that serious. So, yeah, I pro- probably agree with you about 16th, man. Look, yeah, over the last five years, they've KP been... KP to have another shocker? He, well, he's playing, is they've moved him away from fullback and into the sixth position Maybe again. Maybe so he can get less injured. He's going to get more injured, more injured there. Yeah, in the middle He's going to get more now. injured there now. He gets injured playing fullback and can cuss all the time. He's going to get even. He's going to get pumped at six. And they've already tried this and it didn't work. Yeah, because at know, the time, he couldn't pass both ways. He could only pass one way. I think, can you, reckon he can, you reckon he can... I don't think he's a six. So you reckon like what? Round three, round four, he'll just go back straight back? No, I feel like they're going to be very stubborn about it. And that's going to be the downfall of the coach. And That's how they'll finish second last? Yeah, and I feel like, yeah, they've just... They've always had a mad roster and they always screwed it up. Like they just, they just underachieve every year, and I feel like I it's gonna it happen again. Andrew John's coach then, bro. Yeah, well, I don't know if he uh, wants to be a head coach. Uh, yeah, I don't think he'd ever want to take that responsibility on. It's too much for, for that stress. Fifteenth place. I got the Warriors, mate. Did, they didn't, they've signed who they've, they've signed? Uh, Clockstad. Clockstad. Tamari Martin. Tamari Martin. L- Luke Metcalf. I think it's Luke or Le- I always get it mixed up. But this <laughs> this kid's insane, by the way. I think he's. In, like yeah, a, I heard someone saying yesterday, I think I it was did, the guru saying he's going to be like unbelievable. Oh, man. From the second <coughs> I first watched this bloke play for Cronulla, I was just wowed. He's just got an insane acceleration. He's a six, yeah? He's a six fullback. I don't, he could put him anywhere, anyway. man. So but, those, whether, the but, they're, but they're not going to play him. They're not going to start off the season with him. Why not? Because they, they're they going to put Tamari Martin at six. And I don't know. Like, I just... Yeah, he took a long break from the game. He came back all right again in Brisbane. But... This is the Warriors. This isn't Brisbane. He doesn't yeah. have a guy like Adam Reynolds next to him now. doesn't have... Like, I think the Warriors forward pack is good. Everybody knows I love the Warriors. I watch. I love watching him yeah, play. Yeah, I love the Warriors too. I love Bunty Afoa. Like he's, <laughs> he, I've actually met him. Like, oh, you've met <laughs> yeah. Bunty? Bro, every time we'd be streaming and, and Bunty got the ball, I would scream Bunty, Bunty into the mic. Because it's it's Bunty, bro. He just runs with all all his energy. He's put into that run. <laughs> and he's got the hair too, yeah? He's got the maddest <laughs> hair in the league, bro. But even with Bunt, I just feel like they got, again, like the Dragons a few years ago, just hand-me-downs. They just yeah. got hand-me-downs from other teams. But Even Johnson, man, I don't... And Sean Johnson, uh, he's good on... He looks insane one day and terrible the next Yeah, a day. lot of people blame him, but I don't think you can blame him at that age anyway, bro. Like, he's old now, man. Like, someone surely has to step up and take that responsibility for those big games and their big moments. But, yeah, I'll probably have to agree. I'm going to probably agree with you on everything in this. Probably just the top eight, I won't agree. Yeah. Uh, no, I will. You want 14th. To I got Redcliffe here. And I feel like this is where... Redcliffe th- Dolphins. Yeah, I got the Dolphins here because this is the... The, apart from like this is where the cap off comes for the bad teams I think up from 13th onwards 
either or any of those teams can make the eight. Yeah. In a, I feel like the amount of t- the how like how good these teams are is crazy, dude. Like yeah, everyone's from, added. A lot of teams have added. A lot of teams have changed their ways, their coaching staff. You know, their like Dr. Tigers, Sheens is back, and I think Sheens is coaching this season, right? Yeah. And Marshall's doing next season or the I year think after. The year after, but the year yeah. after, which is pretty good for, for the Tigers. He's still gonna be there around, and I just it, like Sheens is good. But the thing with Red Creek is they've got the best coach, if yeah, not the second that. best coach ever. Yeah, I it's think him or Bellamy for me. Or, yeah, they're just too damn good at maximizing what their team, like what their team is. Bellamy, uh, uh, Bennett, I think, just always did it with every other team. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's done he's it. He's proven it in other ex- places. Other except than Newcastle, that was yeah. a bit well, of a flop. I don't think anyone but, really. Bella, but he just he's able to make the average player a good player, and a good player a great player. Confidence. And a crap player, a, an <laughs> average player. He just like, levels them up. <laughs> if they go anywhere else now, if 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 anyone, if like any other coach, they will just. End up in reserve grade. Yeah, no they won't mean, trust them as well. Yeah, uh, they, they won't trust him like uh, Bennett will trust them. Yeah, exactly. so fourteenth is Dolphins, which is uh, that's a good shout. If that, and that's doing good for them actually. Yeah, to come I into like, a league I feel like where that's good. yeah to come into a, to the league where it's their first year, new fan like their fans are. You know what I mean? First time going out there. I think it's good fourteenth, bro. Yeah, thirteenth so place. I got Manly, bro. Every all the Manly fans are trying to tell me, ah, no, nah, no, nah, we're better this year. Like, trust me, trust me. But I just. Dude, when Tommy Turbo does not play... If he's he, starting round one. He's starting round one. I didn't even expect that. I didn't even expect him to start round one. But I'm so happy. I, lo- he's the I best, love Tommy, yeah, He's man. the best player in the whole world when he's healthy. I'm giving him seven but rounds. But I'm putting him 13th because it's just... It's Turbo. I don't want to... I'm, I'm, I've had enough of like uh, of thinking he's going to play a full season now. Mm. Especially after last year. He started the season injured. And uh, now... I just miss him in origin, man. Yeah, man. We oh need him, bro. God. We rely on him too much. But I just feel like without him, like if he does get hurt, which the like history says that he, would most he will work. most likely get hurt. It's yeah, just we're like, just going off the facts. I'm just going off of what his careers look like. You know, sometimes players just get suspended and injured all the time. And unfortunately for Turbo, if I, I just don't feel like they're a good team without him. And they'll probably be without him for half of the season. Yeah, I... I Fully agree with that, man. But I hope not. If he's if he's healthy, they may, they can even make to- top four. I agree with the Tommy thing. Yeah. And if he that's 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 a if good point. If he's healthy, bro, they can make top four. I, I had like him to Manly win just, last year. I just feel like Manly make the eight, man. Yeah. I don't I don't I don't know what it is. They I'd, could easily, bro. They just always you can just never count them out. That team, Cherry Evans. I don't know. Sometimes he just has games where he snaps and just makes things happen, bro. And I think well, round one he's not going to play, but Schuster. Local local legend. He's from the area here. Yeah, he played for the same club I did, bro. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> he's a good bloke too, man. I've seen him. Uh, I've seen him out before. I just yeah, and plus the fact that they're moving him to six is why I'm very iffy because I don't know if he's a six. Yeah, he's the thing with Schuster is he think like is it, I, he, I can see him as a thinks, thirteen. He perfect thinks he's 13. Benji, bro. Like and, the, and all right, when it looks mad, it looks like Benji. But when when it goes wrong. Maybe yeah. he just needs time there in that position to develop. And, That's what and I'm saying. But he's developing. And when you're developing, you're not at your peak. <laughs> not you're your not, peak. Your, right. not the level that the team requires you to be at all of the time. And I feel like, you know, lots. You don't want to... He makes a lot of errors and makes a lot of weird plays. Especially I don't want to say stupid plays because he is capable of doing them. But at the time, they're just low percentage. Yeah, low percentage especially at, at first season at, six, at the six is going to be hard. But I don't know. Up, yeah. Uh, that's why I'm just yeah. Iffy about it makes him. sense and, now. And the league's very competitive this year. They could make top four of his health. Like I said, I'm just that's I'm not going to bank on it, man. Now, nah, of course. All right, twelfth. Let's run through right, this quicker. Twelfth. I've got. I'm going to put the one. Tigers here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay. Any explanation? You think they'll just uh, they'll, they, they they'll have the mad forward pack? They got a sick hooker, probably the best hooker in the league. Carousel. But then. When the ball go, when it comes to scoring tries, they're gonna struggle because mm-hmm. they have the worst back line in the league. And Adam Dwyer, as good as he is, if he gets hurt, they got no one to replace him. They got I think Brandon Wakeham now, and he's not done a good job as a replacement for us. I hope he does better, like because yeah, I like, I, him. I like good, Wakeham. I really really like man, him. But he, and I feel like he never really got to go properly. But that's the replacement, and he, he, if it doesn't work out, they're screwed because Luke Brooks I think can't lead the team. No, nah, he can't, and I think it's more pressure on Wakeham too. Like they're gonna get, expect him to perform, and like they're gonna need him to perform. It's very hard to perform 
especially at the Tigers. I'm just going off what I seen last season. I'm not really saying this season. They could. What do you mean last bro, they could season? Ten, play the last ten years. The last bro. ten years, yeah. But they could go out there and blow everyone. Like, you could. know, it could happen. You never know. Shit like that can happen. But yeah, I, I gotta agree with you. The I Tigers. Think it's smart just to have them twelfth. Like I just don't want. But I think it'll be a good season for them. But I think like, they'll lose some games where it'll be like ah. Uh, but I think it'll actually be a good. Uh, you, like you said, I think they probably won't make that because of the teams that are just gonna be so much better than them. I don't think they'll be that bad. Yeah, I just I look. They're not a bad team. They're yeah. a good. I, I like the team a lot. But we're in a position now where it's so competitive from 13th and above. Like it's I think crazy. there's 13 teams that can make the eight, Which and 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 that's great for the league because there's gonna be a lot of competitive games. It hasn't happened in a long time, bro. But like I said, if the way he get like injuries now are gonna be very pivotal mm -hmm. because you lose a few games and you're, you're gonna you you could be screwed. You miss out. Shall and then yeah, then but I think they're a good team. And they they could make the eight, but I just don't have. We'll lock them in at twelfth, eleventh. Yeah. I've got the Titans. Titans. Yeah, I don't really, I don't even want to talk about the Titans, bro. They just, I don't know. I'm, the only thing I'm gonna say about them is Kieran Foran, and I still think Kieran Foran's a good addition, even at this age. But same with Dewey, man. Same with those Tommy Turbo. If he gets injured, they go back to what they went with last year, bro. Yeah, and I just don't know. I just feel like the coach isn't up to par as well. Yeah, like, bro. I, just, I, like, I remember dude, last year, every game he was getting sacked. Like, dude, when you're giving, when you're giving, um, <laughs> Bo Firma like twice the amount of ball as Dave Fafita is. I don't know if it's just he went from touching the ball and the, pretty much. The yeah, I remember most, Fafita used to always have the ball. He used to all like I don't know if it's laziness or they just so like playing Firma. him on the right. They started playing him on the right side, they left side, middle. Senna, like they just can't find a place for him. And when at the end of the day, he's just like kick out. You just give him the ball and, let him do and just things. let him run. But yeah. and I feel like that's why they got foreign because he's experienced enough to know that to and adjust a good in team. mid game as well to adjust. Be like, hey, like give me the ball, let me take it, let me lead you. No, it makes and sense. And they're a good team from one to thirteen, and their bench is good. They just run really hard, play really fast, but and they can score quick points too. The Titans. But defen that. And defensively, they improved with Aaron Shop, but um, last year they were just terrible defensively. That will mm. really help them out. But they, there are still teams that I feel like are stronger. All right, let's and go. Have better halves. Yeah. Uh, uh, who's their seven? So they, like it's that uh, Boyd, Tanner Boyd. Yeah, it'll be Tanner Boyd. And he looked alright last be, year, but I think it'll be Foran and and Brimson. I think Foran is gonna be playing seven this year, and then Campbell they started with Brimson. They started with Brimson at fullback this week, but I think that'll change, like you said. Yeah, like Campbell's gonna come in eventually. Like Foran will go seven, Brimson will go six. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I feel like that's what they're gonna do. I feel like Foran can play the seven. He was pretty much seven for us when yeah. he played. So especially at this age, I think he can. I think yeah, it's more he's smart, man. All uh, right, let's go to 10th and at, so what was that? Who what did we do 11th? Yeah, I'm very confused yeah, now. now at 10. Titans at 11th, so let's go 10, 9. I got Brisbane at 10. And who's 9? And I got um, Raiders at 9. Raiders at 9. Oh, yep. you're pretty harsh on Brisbane there, bro. Well, mate, they're amazing. Like, they're a potential top four team with Reynolds playing. But yeah, they, 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 didn't make the, they didn't make the A last they year. They were top four last year until and they they dropped Reynolds, Reynolds got her and then he came back and he just wasn't the same. And they really rely on him because Fuck, Reynolds, man, yeah, I, man, one of my he has to be one of my favorite. I'll rate him, bro, week in week out. Adder, he's so good, man. When I watch, for me, the, my favorite position in 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 the NRL is a seven. This is that bloke that he's like a cam for me in soccer. You know what I mean? That explosive guy that's interesting. He leads the team as well. Can organize defense, organize attack, takes the game at the neck and just goes. I think when Reynolds is. If he doesn't get injured this year, bro, I think Brisbane really, really, I genuinely believe it, make the four. Yeah. I, 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 exactly. Their forward packs, because they got Carrigan, Payne Haas. Um, I think they lost Flegler. Ne for next For year. next season. Yeah. yeah, we'll see. They still got these players. I think pretty harsh going ninth, but right. I, uh, tenth. But I understand. I get it, what you're saying. Like, listen, man, like, I just feel like I like the Raiders a bit more, and their players seem to be a little bit more consistent and are always yeah. on the field you know and i feel like they're a young team they'll get a lot better minus like papali'i but um and the rate i haven't at 90 because they just ha didn't really solve the weaknesses they had last year and they lost a couple of players that i think were really impactful and were like playing for the jersey every week in ryan sudden and adam <laughs> elliott I, I can say i could talk about adam elliott for a long time like he played for my team for a while he gets his ups and downs but last year he, he was, was so enormous good last year, bro. for them, dude. He was and so good. They were then he got injured at, before the finals, yeah? yeah? They were playing him at hooker, dude, when they had... And he was doing a good job, man. And he's just got... He's the type of player that... I'm just surprised they let him go. He's I very know, passionate. I, but yeah. I think it was because of his misses. I think he wanted to go down there with her. Yeah, I guess so. 
All right, let's go to ninth place and then we'll that smash was the eighth. Yeah, that was ninth. Was that ninth? Yeah. It was tenth, sorry, bro. Raider, oh, Raiders. Oh, Raiders. Oh, yeah, Brisbane at tenth. Yeah. Uh, Raiders at ninth. All right, let's go from eight to four quickly. Yeah, I got um, I got the dogs at eighth. Okay, seventh. And I got uh, who would I have seventh? I got the eels seventh. I got Melbourne sixth, and I got the ra rabbits fifth. Melbourne sixth. Yeah, you can't. That's lose. one thing I'm gonna agree with, like fully, fully, fully agree with you on. Dude, they've missed that last year. They're going to miss Pappenhausen for at least half of this season. I'd say, like, he might come back around eight or whatever. And he's bro, still going to miss a few games after because Brandon Smith is big loss. Big loss and Kenny Bromwich and Felice Cafusi and all, Jesse Bromwich. All of that's like a big loss. Like, you're, you can't just fill in half of a forward, more than half of a forward pack in like one, that. In one uh, it, like, off season. And as much as I like <coughs> the young guns that are coming through and as much as I trust Bellamy, I just feel like with Pappenhausen missing time too, they're just going to suffer loss. a little bit. Big loss. And towards the end of the year, they'll be an absolute machine. Yeah. I think they'll they'll find the forwards that they need. Tarek push Sims, through. Tarek <laughs> Sims is big. If he can stay healthy, dude, he's going to be an, like, he's gonna be an bro, absolute I can't, I, I'm actually excited to watch him this year, bro. I'm really Because at the Dragons, I see his passion. Even for the Blues, I've seen how hard he... And we remember Tarek Sims, how good he was, bro. Like, everyone forgets how good Tarek Sims was but a couple years ago. Now he's on the Bellamy, and he's got a big... Pre like, he's got the weight on his shoulders to go on and be a leader. I think we're going to see him elevate heaps, bro. Yeah, I'm, I'm expecting a lot of big things from him. But, you, again, it's just they've lost so many players and have to replace so much play... Like, th use their depth mm. to become starting players because they only really signed... Which will be very hard for them to and score they got, points and they and got defend. They got another Katoa from um, Elisa Katoa, Elisa Katoa from um, New Zealand, and I think he's a gun. I don't know why he wasn't playing, but yeah. Um, all right, so that was seventh. That sixth. Was, well, that was sixth. I have Eels Melbourne seventh. was sixth. I have the Eels, Eels seventh. seventh. Who was fifth? Rabbitohs. Rabbits. Okay. They're a top four team all day, but Latrell Mitchell Latrell misses injured. Ha half. He missed too many games. Cody Walker will have a few stinkers. They don't care about the regular season as much as other teams. So yeah. they just focus on the finals and they own the Roosters. If they versus the Roosters <laughs> in the finals, then you know what's going to happen. All right, let's go top four. All right. I have Roosters fourth. I know you probably disagree uh, with I'm, this. Uh, yeah. They're literally made of glass, and that's why they're going to... Like, they're the best team that's in the this year, but they've had the worst run of injuries in the, the last... And they always do, bro. Every the past, what, five years, bro? Yeah, so I'm just... And especially, like, now, they're missing their two starting back rowers. <laughs> Tupuno um, is going to miss half of the season, at least with a torn ACL, so... But they got the Butcher brothers. They're good players, but they just eat into their depth a bit. Even Manu, I think, man. And it's going to be massive for them. Is he starting injured? Is he starting uh, Joey Manu? Yeah, I think he's starting. I, think he's starting I haven't week. seen their team list this week, but yeah. he's well, a tank really as well. Suwali is crazy as well. <sighs> oh, I love him. Uh, third, Teddy. I think I have... I think I have the Cowboys third. or sh like Sharks and Cowboys are third and second, in my opinion. Good shout. Um, they all got a lot of depth. They all play really fast, and they're just very good teams. Mm. And I feel like they'll keep second and third. Either one of them will finish second. Yeah, and I third. think the consistency will be crazy too. And, and who finishes first? I still got Penrith first, man. They oh, lost. the mighty Penny Panthers. Yeah, they're just too damn good. They Win won the minor Premiership they, again. They won every grade. They try. They sweat. They like the. They just they try hard. Everyone. Like they want to win that minor Premiership. They have the best player in NRL, and I think it will win Dali M and Nathan Cleary, and. Um, they, they lost kick out, but they replaced him with Garner, who's going to be an absolute gonna weapon a, a machine, machine for them, dude. I rated him at the Tigers. Imagine what he'll do at Penrith, bro. Yeah, and Kenny Solid, man. And I don't think, I think that'll be the the, the player they missed the most, Appside Carousel, but they'll be all right. All right, Mr. Fred, Mr. NRL, who is going to win the Daily M this year? Uh, it depends on injuries and stuff. I feel like if uh, he's well, listen, fully healthy, bro, Listen, we just Turbo, we don't know yet. Turbo wins it if he's fully healthy. We, we don't know yet. But he's never going to be fully healthy. So I'm probably thinking Cleary tries and wins it this year because um, he only the only reason he didn't win it last year was that suspension. Mm. I'm going to have to agree with you, bro. And they, it's yeah, either for me, it's either uh, Cleary or Nico Hines. Yeah. Tommy Turbo is going to be injured. Latrell, uh, I don't know, even Teddy, bro. It just depends on injury, but uh, like I they're the top like, names yeah. you say, but you know we ha I always look at it like this: like Teddy can't really win it anymore because the three points are going to be shared by like half of that team. Yeah, they're going to spread you know it out. I mean? slowly, gonna, slowly. Like yeah, whereas um like if if the Rabbitohs win, Latrell's winning three points nine times out of ten. Hundred percent, definitely. And yeah, clearly is right. a tank. That's our uh, little in our real talk.
Yeah. Um, went, lo- went longer than we thought we would, but that's all right. It's the first episode. Um, we're going to be dropping this on, we said, Wednesdays, mm-hmm. 6 p.m. So we used to do the Premier League stuff Wednesday, 6 p.m. We're going to change it up. The Premier League stuff will drop on Tuesday. We will record that on Monday. So Premier League record Monday, drop Tuesday, record the NRL stuff Tuesday, drop Wednesday, and so on and so forth. We we are always consistent. We do never stop, no matter the rain, hail, shine, the conditions, whatever it is, bro. We push, we keep going, and yeah, man, subscribe, like, thank you for tuning in. Welcome our brother Fred. I'm going to say it once again because we're a big family now. Welcome him, follow him, like him, support him, go on his TikToks, his Twitch, everything. Brother, donate your money, whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> whatever it is, just look after our brother Fred because he's looking after us. And thank you very much. Tune in. Love is all. Thank you, boys.